Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you part two in my series of budget record collecting. First up, I'm going to show you the record that is most often found in used record stores, in thrift shops, and everywhere. And I had to grab a copy just so I could say I had a copy. I actually found this in a box of records from an estate sale that somebody had brought over to the house and we were digging through and I found this. What it is, of course, is the world famous Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass Whipped Cream and Other Delights. Next up, we have another super common one that you'll find pretty much anywhere. I mean, it's another one of those albums that sold super, super well. And so there are many, many, many copies of it sitting out there. And that is Carol King's Tapestries. There we go. This sold well for a reason. This has a ton of great songs on it, including one that she wrote when she was a teenager back in the 60s that was a hit for somebody else. Then that song is... Let me see. Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? And... Uh, she also wrote, You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman, uh, and a whole lot of other, there are like five hit songs on this record. Now, this one came out of a library, but I found this at a flea market up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, along, along with a few other records that are, I would say, pretty common, but, you know, I had to get it since it's such an iconic album. Next up is one that I thought I'd never find, and... Actually, it landed in my lap thanks to my nephew. My nephew brought it home one day and said, Hey, do you want this? And what it is, is one of my all-time favorite bands, The Beatles, Hard Day's Night. I got this for free. Yes, it's kind of beat up. It's not in the greatest condition at all. But still sounds good to me. You can tell the cover's all munched up here on the bottom. But the record still plays just fine. Next up is something I'd never thought I'd see for the price. If you remember a few videos back, I did a show all around Dr. Demento and his radio show. And this was my first Dr. Demento show. I actually found this on a website called Music Stack. I found it for 99 pence. And I was, was not about to pass that up. Usually these individual shows, if you look on eBay or anywhere now, go upwards of $40 a piece. So I jumped on it, took a picture of it, you know, posted it to the Dr. Demento fan group. Barrett Hansen, Dr. Demento himself, said that it was an excellent find. And it actually is one of the favorite shows of mine that I have. And I have several since that one. Next up is one that I did find in a thrift store. And it was actually one of my all-time favorite records from the 80s. It's The Fix. And it's Reach the Beach. And I, again, got this for a dollar. Found it at a thrift store and the town that I'm living in right now, along with several other albums, such as Al Stewart's Year of the Cat and Tubular Bells. And also there was an Alan Parsons album in there with it. I grabbed that as well, but I'm just showing off this for now. Next up is an album that I had been looking for basically since 2015, because back in 2015, um, one of the other side of Sun Records came out for Record Store Day in 2015. And it actually had a song from this band on it from their second album. And it turns out that a friend of mine in the record co collector's group that I'm in, Cheech the Hat's record room, so I only paid like $3 for it. This is U.S. Apple Corps' first album. Now, a lot of people may never have heard of U.S. Apple Corps. What they did is they took traditional gospel songs, at least on this album, and gave them their own rock and roll spin, and it sounds amazing. Now, I've grouped the next group together because I do a lot of comedy collecting, and a lot of these I never expected to find, outside of having to pay a decent price for most of them. First up, Songs by Tom Lehrer. I found this in a thrift store here in town for a dollar. This is actually my second copy of it. Now, the story behind this is he recorded it in his living room and had it pressed on his own label. And just think, all it took was him, a tape recorder, and his piano. Next up was another find out of that box of records from an estate sale. I was flipping through and I saw a name that I thought I recognized. And I did a little bit of digging on the Dr. Demento show database dmdb.org. And I found out that, yeah, I did indeed remember hearing a few things from this artist 
on the Dr. Demento Show most. And what this is, is Rusty Warren bounces back. What she was, is she was a comedian in the 50s and 60s who played in the Poconos and the Catskills. And she was kind of blue humor, but it was safer blue humor. And definitely not something you'd necessarily even want your kids to hear nowadays. But it is a lot more tame than a lot of the stuff that's out now. But And it's still darn funny. Next up is the best of the Stan Freeberg show. Again, I found this for a dollar here in town. So, of course, I had to grab it because it was Stan Freeberg. The neat thing about this is he has two other really well-known voice actors that worked on it with him. The one sitting down in front of him is actually Dawes Butler. You'll know him from pretty much every cartoon you've ever watched on Saturday morning. He played everything from Huckleberry Hound to Captain Caveman. And the other one is also probably the best known female voice actress of all time, June Foray. And she's the one sitting on the far left of this picture. She did everything from Wilma Fl or Betty Rubble to Smurfette and everything in between. Her voice is probably the most recognizable female voice in voice acting. And this is just the best of the bits on the show. It only lasted a few months, but they were able to collect enough for a double record set. And that is a small sampling of what I've got and what you can find out there as a record collector if you know where to look. You know, like I said, some of those things just kind of fell into my lap on sheer luck. And some of those took hours of digging through crates. But, you know, it's worth the time and effort that you put in. So, if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up down below. Uh, and if you want to continue seeing videos that I put out, just click on that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I put out a new video, just click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way, when a new video comes up, you'll be notified right away. I will see you next time.